as we get older, we then start to form opinions about, I have Coda next to me, sleeping. As I've learned, our behaviors are thoughts, patterns, and personalities, why they consist of what they do. When we come into this world, we are so loved and accepted. We don't feel shame or embarrassment. As we start to get older, we then start to form opinions about parts of ourselves. And slowly, we develop patterns of thinking, of inacceptance, of anger, embarrassment, guilt. It's a huge one. Parts of our personality, stubbornness, even the choices we make, we don't always think about, wait, why did I just say no? Wait, why did I just say yes? Why did I pick that choice? So many things are, good boy, so many things are automatic without thinking about it. And that's the part of us that is programmed. And we're all programmed by whatever our environment is like when we're born till about seven. We're still affected after that, but those are so um, impressionable, those ages. I'm not saying that it's there's someone to blame and no, I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying, <laughs> Let's think about some of these thoughts and behaviors and feelings and take a look at the ones that we're really not happy with, the ones that don't serve us anymore, the ones that feel like they don't fit. You know how you you know when you're saying something and as it's coming out of your mouth, you're thinking, this feels awful. This doesn't feel like me. That's what I'm talking about. It's those kinds of of shadows of ourself those parts of ourself that are not healed they usually have a pattern that has to do with the way we coped where there was something lacking when we were little that scarcity the absence of whatever it is that we were needing we compensated in some way out of survival to satisfy not having that, whether we gave it to ourselves or we just didn't have it. It could have been love, the acceptance, not being able to express yourself, not being able to cry. I have to admit that was one that I'm familiar with. When you feel like you're gonna get in trouble for crying, that's something that can definitely affect your emotional expression as an adult if you don't acknowledge it and heal which is possible for all of these things it just takes work it takes commitment it becomes more and more obvious how programmed we are the older I get the more conversations I have It just becomes more and more evident. Everyone is on their own path. Everyone is on their own journey. And I know we tend to want to fix. We want to help. We want to give a solution. We want to take the pain away from loved ones and our friends. It comes out of love. But actually, the most loving thing is allowing the other person to experience what they need to experience so that they can develop their new habits and heal their own wounds. They have to know what comes up for them to show them what is not healed. What patterns are they still maybe using from way back when that are not healthy. Other people in our lives that we love and want to help, I know it's hard, but we do really need to let them feel what comes up for them. 
because that will show them unhealthy behaviors that they're still having. It'll help give them clarification on why. Why is this behavior here? It will allow them, it, it kind of is a mirror showing them this is what you need to look at. This is where you need to look and to spend some time healing. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. It really depends on the situation and the people. It depends on you the most and how quickly you're able to just let that go. It can be instant. You can decide to let it go. All of you can do that. If you truly, with why we think these ways or why we have certain habits that we don't necessarily like, I find understanding it and where it came from and why it is the way it is, it just, it makes it easier to let it go. When you start to feel better about how you're acting and what you're saying, it'll in turn create this feeling in you to want to do more and act more positively and have better, you know, replace that with a healthy habit, a healthy attitude, a good feeling. It's important to look at the parts of us that we don't like.